Hello everyone. My name is Amanda and I am an occupational therapy student at the American Stroke Foundation. In this video, I will show you how to make your own therapy putty at home. In a subsequent video, I will show you some exercises you can do with your new therapy putty in order to stretch out and strengthen the muscles in your hands and fingers. There are many different recipes for homemade therapy putty. This one uses one four ounce bottle of Elmer School glue cornstarch, borax, and very hot water. You can also use food coloring if you would like your therapy putty to be a color other than white. Lastly, since the putty is primarily made from glue, it smells a little like glue. So if you'd like a different smell, you can add a few drops of your favorite essential oil. When you make your own putty, you will also want the following items. A medium sized bowl, measuring cups and a measuring spoon, something to stir the mixture with, something to heat up the water, and an airtight container to store the putty after you've finished. I chose the containers pictured on the screen because they hold 8 ounces, which is enough space to hold the putty. They are airtight, but are made of plastic and contain less of a risk of breaking if dropped compared to a glass container. Before you start, you may want to start heating your water depending on what you're using to do so. I decided to use an electric kettle, which I let heat up the water while I started making the putty. While the water is heating, start by taking the cap off the bottled glue and pouring the entire bottle into your bowl. Try to get as much out as you can as the recipe calls for four ounces of glue. I found that using a plastic knife helped scrape out the remainder after the majority of the glue came out. Next, add one fourth cup of cornstarch. Stir until thoroughly mixed in. I ended up stirring with the same plastic knife from before, which worked quite well. Make sure to scrape around the sides of the bowl to ensure all of the glue and cornstarch gets mixed together. This is where you can add a different color or scent to your putty if you desire. To change the color, add two to five drops of food coloring. If you want to include an essential oil to alter the scent, now would be the time to add one to three drops. Mix thoroughly together. In a separate bowl or container, add 1 4th teaspoon of borax to 1 4th cup of very hot water. Stir until the borax is completely dissolved. Add the borax mixture to the glue mixture and stir. After you've stirred for a little bit, you should see it starting to look like putty. While it is still in the bowl, use your hands and knead the putty until it is no longer sticky. You are finished when you can pick up the putty and it doesn't stick to your hands or fingers. If it is still sticky, place it back in the water mixture and knead it some more. Mm -hmm. 
Once it is no longer sticky, remove all excess water from the putty and the bowl. Your putty is complete. Make sure you store it in an airtight container so that it will last longer. Have fun! At this point, you might be wondering, what now? What is this therapy putty good for? Well, my next video will include hand exercises that you could complete using your new therapy putty. This video will be released on March 8th, 2021, so be on the lookout, and in the meantime, try making some putty of your own. Thank you for watching this video about making your own therapy putty. I hope that you enjoy making your own. Here are my references in case you would like to learn more.